Are you struggling to style your new trendy curtain bangs? I'm here to give you some super practical, easy styling tips that can work for wet or dry hair. Hey everyone, I'm Becca and I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I make accessible hair and beauty content. If you're coming back, thank you so much and welcome to the new studio. Woohoo! If you're new here, we just rented a studio and hello, we are super excited. I'd love for you to join the Messy Bun Club. Messy Bun Squad? <laughs> Messy Bun Club. I don't really know what to call us. I haven't decided yet what to call us. Nine times out of 10, I'm rocking that messy bun, but when we wanna look cute, I wanna make sure that you have the tools to do so. So comment below, what should we be? Messy bun club or messy bun squad? <laughs> okay, so if you wanna skip right to the beginning of the tutorial, you can go here. And if you're liking these timestamps, make sure to leave a like and I will keep doing them. So a couple weeks ago, I made a real quick short about how to style curtain bangs. <laughs> well, soon after I posted that, I feel like I keep seeing curtain bangs pop up everywhere and I keep getting questions about them. And it doesn't really surprise me because they usually trend about once a year and apparently, now is their time to shine. Curtain bangs are a great option for so many people. They fit all face shapes, and they're the bang that I normally would recommend when I was working at the salon because they are a low commitment bang. It's a good entry level bang for people who want a little something but don't want to commit to full for <laughs> full <laughs> full on forehead bangs. Full on forehead bangs. I can't say it. I'm sorry. I just put it in there. And you know, on those days you don't feel like styling your hair, bangs can be a good option. You can still look like you've tried by just styling the bangs and putting the rest of your hair back. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> so if you're looking for low maintenance bangs, curtain bangs are a great option. But yes, you still do need to style them if you want them to lay how you want. Sorry, but that's just how it is. <laughs> but no fear, that is why you're here. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but okay. I will show you how you can style your beautiful new curtain bangs super easy. Like I said at the beginning, these tips can work if your hair is wet or dry. So the tools you'll need are a blow dryer with a concentrator on the end. Yes, you need a concentrator on the end. Do not throw that piece away like I <laughs> used to do. Keep that sucker on the blow dryer, you need it. A ceramic plated round brush, I have the Olivia Garden extra long size 45. The shorter the hair, the thinner the barrel of the round brush should be, but I wouldn't go with a larger barrel round brush because then you won't get the bend that you want in your hair. You also need a hold styling product if your hair is wet and a heat protection styling product if your hair is dry, a soft finish medium hold hairspray, and finally some confidence because girl, you got this. I understand blow drying your hair can be just a little complicated and a little awkward because you don't know what to do with your hands, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the blow dryer in your dominant hand and you're gonna take the round brush in your non-dominant hand. Let me show you. Blow dryer in your dominant, round brush in your non-dominant. I'm right-handed. Okay, your non-dominant side is always easier, right? Because you don't have to, you know what to do with your hands. When you go to do your dominant side, you're gonna cross your arm in front See this like little 90 degree angle? That's how you're gonna get it to roll backwards. It's gonna be difficult and it might take you a couple times to get it. And then your blow dryer, see it's kind of awkward, but you'll get it. Your blow dryer is gonna face backwards. See, we're like, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll it back. So the hair's gonna go underneath. I don't wanna do it right now because I don't wanna mess up my hair, I already did. Okay, so this side, this is what we're doing. We're going, we're doing it great. And then this side, a little awkward, but we're gonna get it, okay? You got it. You can do it. You'll get it, I promise. Here are your steps. First, if your hair is wet, you'll add your hold product to your bang area. I'm recommending that you use Bumble and Bumble Thickening Spray or like me today, the Whey Volume Spray to give yourself some hold. Work smarter, not harder. The hold product will do a lot of the work for you. 
if your hair is dry, I recommend putting in a heat protectant hair oil like Kerastase Elixir Oil to help protect your hair from that heat. For both wet and dry, the technique is the same. I like to start by rolling the hair into the round brush away from my face. If you're starting with wet hair, this part will take a little longer because the hair has to dry. <laughs> if you're starting with dry hair, the goal is to smooth and reshape the hair, just like you're doing with a flat iron, but you're just using a blow dryer to do this step. Then I'm gonna dry each side using the techniques I showed you before. We're gonna roll the hair away from the face on each side. And then we'll finish it off the same way we started. I like to roll the hair backwards into the round brush away from my face. And you can heat it up for a few seconds. And this is why I want you to use a ceramic round brush because the heat gets distributed evenly and helps prevent heat damage. Once it's heated up, then you're gonna just simply roll it away from your face. And a beautiful face framing curtain, hence the name, is born. <laughs> and essentially, you just keep adjusting until you reach the look you want. <laughs> Once you've gotten it to look the way you want, I recommend hitting it with a little soft finish hairspray. Obviously, you can touch it up with a flat iron or a curling iron like me today. I finished the rest of my style with a one inch curling iron and I needed to flip the ends of my bangs a little bit more for it to blend with the rest of my look. But sometimes those tools, if you use them the whole time, will make your hair too straight. And that's the reason why I like using a round brush and blow dryer because it helps give you the bend in your hair and the volume at the root. And you can't really get that feathery look with just a flat iron or a curling iron. If you really like that flippy ended curtain bang, then I would say to definitely finish it off with a flat iron. But in this tutorial, I wanted to focus more on a simple curtain bang style where it flows away from the face and just makes you feel a little bit like Bridget Bordeaux or Priyanka Chopra or Selena Gomez or whatever celebrity <laughs> fits your age demographic. <laughs> All celebrities have had curtain bangs, I guarantee. <laughs> Pick a celebrity, you can find them with curtain bangs at some point in their life. Once I finished curling the rest of my hair with my one inch curling iron, I took my Brilliantine, I love this product. I use it at the end, right before I do my hairspray. I actually did a YouTube short using this product. I love it, it's so underrated but it kind of gives a nice polished look and a lot of really nice shine. You're gonna think of this product like a hair polish. It brings your style together, helps with little flyaways, makes your hair smell nice, gives you a nice little shine. Then after I use that product, I put the hairspray on and I'm gonna show you a cool technique on how to hairspray your curtain bangs. You wanna put your hand underneath your hair and then spray the hairspray on top of it and do that on both sides and then you're going to actually take the hairspray and spray underneath the bang and what that's going to do is it's going to help maintain that nice curtain flow <laughs> that this style is known for. If you're ready to make the plunge into curtain bangs, <laughs> call up your hairstylist or subscribe to this channel because I'm sure at some point <laughs> I'll be making a tutorial on how to cut your own curtain bangs. If that's something you would like to see, leave a like, leave me a comment, tell me, show me how to cut that hair. <laughs> that's terrible, don't say that. You can't make me say that. If you made it to the end of this video, <laughs> say that, okay? <laughs> I actually just cut my hair yesterday. So this is a good, good timing for this video because I just refreshed my curtain bang. <laughs> Thanks for watching my video. Also head over to my Instagram, Life with Becca, to interact with me on a daily basis. <laughs> or you can keep watching my other video content right here or subscribe right here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> I hope you like this new studio because it took a long time to do it. Do you guys like it? We like it.